Hey, look, I got something new that I want to show you guys that I've been working on for a very long time now, and it's finally coming to fruition. Uh, you know, there's a certain color that works for every situation. And I've got my own personal colors that I, that I really have a lot of confidence in. So I want you to check out my new BLAC Custom Vibes colors that I've got coming out. These are colors that I use and I've got a lot of confidence in. I use them across the country fishing on the FLW tour. So let me show, walk you through the ones that I have here. I've got these in the Bill Lewis MR6. You guys know just simply catch fish no matter where you're at. If you're trying to fish shallow and you need a crankbait, these two baits just simply get it done. I've got three colors I really like. I think you're, you're gonna like them too. My favorite, you guys know that I live on a blueback heron lake and the fish also feed on threadfin shad a lot. And this is one of my favorite colors when I'm fishing clearer water and I'm trying to get that shad representation. This one right here, I really like. Guess what the name of the color is? It's called the juice. The juice is the name of it. You can see it's got a gray bottom, a little bit of purple hues, a lot of green on the back and greens and blues with a, a real dark back. And that's just a great color to mimic any kind of shad forage. Doesn't have to be blue back, doesn't have to be thread fin. If your lake has alewives or any other kind of type of shad forage, I promise you this crankbait here, this crankbait color right here will catch them for you. You know, I do rely on chartreuse a lot. This color right here is called Take my money, TMM. It's just a good color to use when you're talking about stained water. Chartreuse and black is, is one that's been great since the 80s, the 90s. It's always been good and it's never gonna go away. So take my money, that's the color for you guys that live in South Carolina, Georgia, North Carolina in those stained water fisheries. Coosa River chain, Alabama, you're really gonna catch them all over the country. I'm gonna fish it everywhere, but this guy represents a little bluegill so good. It's got the blues in it, it's got the orange on the belly take my money this is the one you need if you're tournament fishing now perhaps my favorite anytime you're talking about fishing in the winter time again stained water or slightly stained to clear water I like to throw red red is just a good color to throw when you're talking about crankbaits in the early season and one thing you don't hear talked about is red is actually a good color all of the time of the year summer in the fall I still throw a lot of red when everybody's got that crankbait put up but check this one out this one is called hot wings hot wings you see you've got a really bright red on the top of it with a dark back and that guy it just kind of fades to an orange to a chartreuse belly on the back on the bottom of it and that deal it just stands out really good red works good chartreuse works good and I've blended all that in one bait give it the crawfish eyes but I didn't want to do the traditional crawfish pattern on the side of this bait what I decided to do was just like the crawfish dots on the side of it just something to break it up a little bit so hot wings that's definitely going to be one that's going to catch you guys a lot of fish when fish are feeding on crawdads so check these colors out on my website shopblat.com you'll find all these baits in the Bill Lewis MR6 as well as the original Bill Lewis rattle trap BLAC custom vibes colors, you're gonna catch a lot of fish on them.